live coverage starting soon. Live coverage starting soon. It's time for Kennet Indian Baseball. This broadcast presented by Nick Darter for Dunklin County Sheriff. Wilcoxon's Home Place Furniture and Appliance. The Kennet Country Club Pro Shop. McDonald's, Baker Implement Company, Farm Credit Services of Southeast Missouri, Glen Sane Motors, FM Bank, State Farm Insurance, Greg Wilson, Duncan Sheet Metal, Kennett Chamber of Commerce, Kennett City Light Gas and Water, the committee to elect Darren Todd for judge, Home Plate Bar and Grill, NEA Baptist Hospital, the Kennett Bowling Lanes, and the committee to elect Aaron Wainick for Dunklin County Sheriff. Other sponsors include Skeeter Kell Sporting Goods, Kennett Trust Bank, T.R. Baker Insurance, the Law Office of Pelts, McMullen, Edgington, and Morgan, Bentley Farms, and Ultimate Fitness and Sports. And now, Kennet Indian Baseball. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Kennet Indian Baseball as we come to you from Bruce Hunt Field, the brand new Bruce Hunt Field on the campus of Greene County Tech High School in Paragould. Beautiful day for baseball, and they uh, just didn't get a lot of rain down here, as, as even in the Kennet area. We had our ball game over in Carruthersville rained out as it uh, came a flood just uh, over in Pemiscott County, but down in uh, Greene County, uh, southern Dunklin County, not a whole lot of rain. And, of course, here it doesn't matter on Bruce Hunt Field because it's all turf and a beautiful new facility. They are very fortunate. They have a good ball club as they uh, break in this new field with a 15-3 and record on the season. And Coach Bruce Hunt out with Coach Aaron New and the officials exchanging the lineup cards and going over the ground rules here at Greene County Tech. We're going to take our first pregame break as it looks like we're getting ready for baseball. A scheduled 4.30 start. We may be a little early this afternoon. Ultimate Fitness and Sports, they're one of our great broadcast sponsors, a great location right there in Kennett for you to get in shape for all this warm weather that's just ahead. Athletes, they have the great indoor practice facilities where you can get your game to the next level. Great membership plans, Ultimate Fitness and Sports, go by and see them. We're going to be back with more as our pregame show continues from Greene County Tech right after this. Baker Implement Company and Case IH are proud to support area high school athletics. The same way we have supported our customers and the community for 86 years. Visit any of our 13 locations in southeast Missouri and northeast Arkansas to experience the power of red and the service and support that has kept customers coming back since 1938. Case IH and Baker Implement Company, supporting our community on the field and in your field. Looking for a reliable, lightning-fast internet service that doesn't break the bank? Kennett Board of Public Works is here with their fiber optic internet service, starting at just $29.95 a month with speeds up to 1 gigabit per second. And the best part? 
Kennett Board of Public Works is your local provider, committed to serving the community with top-notch customer service and a network you can count on. Experience the power of fiber optics. Sign up now and revolutionize your Internet experience with Kennett Board of Public Works Internet Service. Hello, this is Darren Todd, Republican candidate for Circuit Judge of the 35th Judicial Circuit, comprising Dunklin and Stoddard Counties. I am asking for your vote in the August 6th Republican primary for a six-year term. I am a 1991 graduate of Holcomb High School, a 1996 graduate of Southeast Missouri State University, and a 1999 graduate of Southern Illinois University School of Law. I will represent the people of the 35th Judicial Circuit with patience, open-mindedness, compassion, understanding, and firmness. Paid for by the committee to elect Darren Todd Judge, Kim Campbell Treasurer. Hello everyone, I'm Aaron Wainick and I'm running for Sheriff of Dunklin County. I'm a lifelong resident of Dunklin County and I have over 25 years experience in the field of law enforcement. During my career I have been blessed to have been trained by and worked beside some of the best the business has had to offer. I have the experience and integrity to lead the Sheriff's Office in the years to come. I'm married to my best friend, Leah Joe, and we have two beautiful daughters, Ella Kate and Emery Lynn. My family and I would like to ask for your vote in the August 6, 2024 primary. Thank you. Paid for by the committee to elect Aaron Wainick, Dunklin County Sheriff. Karen Vandiver, Treasurer. Now is the time to get your air conditioner serviced for the warm days ahead. Let the experienced techs at Duncan Sheet Metal replace that old unit with a new high-efficiency unit to stay more comfortable during the upcoming warmer months. A new high-efficiency unit will pay for itself with the big savings you see on your utility bill. Turn to the experts at Duncan Sheet Metal today for service and installation. 601 Highway VV in Kennett. Duncan Sheet Metal wishes Caleb Duncan and the entire Kennett Indian baseball team the best of luck this season. I'm Nick Darter, a candidate for Dunklin County Sheriff. I am a husband, father, and God-fearing man. I have been in law enforcement for 14 years as a field training officer, firearms instructor, taser instructor, school resource officer, mentor, and a volunteer firefighter. It is my desire to bring the experience I've acquired as well as the values that have been instilled in me to the Sheriff's Office. I would appreciate your vote August 6th for Dunklin County Sheriff, so together we can see Dunklin County be an even safer future. Paid for by the committee to elect Nick Darter for Sheriff, Philip A. Sandy, Treasurer. Agriculture is not a fad, and it's not for the faint of heart. Long days become long nights, sacrificing time away from family, even on weekends, just so you can get the crop in and get the crop out. This is your way of life. At Farm Credit Southeast Missouri, we are 100% bought in to your commitment. Because we are customer-owned, it is our mission to be your ag lender, and we intend to be your value-added partner for next year and the long term. Your ag lender will always be there. First Missouri Bank of SEMO understands that banking is more than just managing dollars and cents. It's about strengthening relationships, helping neighbors, believing in our communities, and planning for the future. FM Bank proudly offers competitive rates on personal, home, agricultural, and business loans, and all banking decisions are made here in our local communities. Visit any of our FM Bank locations today for more info. To us, people matter. FM Bank is also proud to sponsor Kennett Indian Sports. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. You all hear me tell the stories on our Glen St. ads, and I enjoy people coming to me and referring to certain stories. Some of these stories go way back. We will continue to tell stories, mention our troops, and tell our customers how much our families appreciate their business. Our people always look forward to seeing you. We want you to enjoy your visit. Best price, best service. Glen St. and God bless our troops. It's always a home run when you visit the all-new Home Plate Bar and Grill at the I-55 exit in Hayti. They have delicious food served up hot and fresh. Be sure to check out their daily lunch and dinner specials. Their catfish, the best around, plus chicken, shrimp, steaks, and their smash burgers will keep you coming back for more. They have 10, yes, 10 big screen TVs where you can catch all the big games. Be sure to like them on Facebook. Slide into home at the Home Plate Bar and Grill at the I-55 exit in Hay tie. Kennett Bowling Lanes is under new ownership and they're excited to announce new menu items coming soon with delicious lunch specials every day. Looking for a fun family outing? Family night is every Wednesday night from 4 to 8. Kids bowl for free with a meal purchase. Book your next birthday party with a basic or pizza party package. They can also host business events. Call 888-9400 to make a reservation or stop by 1315 St. Francis Street in Kennett. Kennett Bowling Lanes. Strike up some fun. We are back at Green County Tech High School at Bruce Hunt Field as we get set for first pitch. 
Indians will come to the plate in this order. J.C. Poole will be at third base defensively and leading things off for the Indians this afternoon. Matt Gardner, the shortstop, will hit second, and Hayden Gilmore will do the pitching and bat third for Kennett. The catcher is Caleb Duncan. He'll be the cleanup hitter this afternoon. Caden Pruitt is the DH and batting in the number five spot. Peyton Branham will be at first base and hitting six in the order. Jack Mor Morrison will be in right field and batting seventh for the Indians. Ashton Williams in center field will hit eighth for Kennett. And Kate Anderson will be hitting ninth and playing second base. Out in the field, uh, it will be uh, Jackson Patterson in left field defensively for the Indians as uh, he is playing for the DH in the field, Caden Pruitt. On the mound, it's Tucker Beasley, the right-handed pitcher, warming up for Green County Tech. So it will be Beasley on the hill. Green County Tech, I mentioned the record 15-3 and three on the season. So a great start to their season, and they're getting down to crunch time, playing a lot of their rivals as the – Championships will be held a little bit earlier in Arkansas than they are up in Missouri. So they are moving a little bit along. We're looking just down the road at our what we call our conference championships. So then our districts will follow that. Boot Hill Conference Tournament will be held this year at Carothersville. And, of course, the SEMO Conference Tournament. As in normal years, the higher seeds will get a home game in the first round of the tournament. And then all the games at Capitol Hall Field up in Cape Girardeau. J.C. Poole will lead things off. Jackson behind the plate. Ring at third. Driscoll at short. Watson at second. Stewart at first defensively for the Golden Eagles of Green County Tech. Williams in left. Scott in center. Compton in right. And J.C. Poole takes strike one on the outside corner from Tucker Beasley. And we're underway here this afternoon. Just a few minutes early. Bright sunshine, a beautiful day for baseball, but the wind is blowing out strong here. A changeup and a swing and a miss, and J.C. is in the hole 0-2. Bentley Farms in Dudley, Missouri, one of our great broadcast sponsors. Wes and Chantel are Kennett residents, and they wish the Kennett Indians good luck this baseball season. The 0-2 to J.C. J.C. hits it the opposite way down the line, but the left fielder over. Now will make the sliding catch. That's Williams in left. You could tell the wind was messing with that one, but Williams hauls it in for out number one. Matt Gardner now comes to the plate for the Indians. Outfield will shift way around to the right side for Matt Gardner. Big gap in left center field and down the left field line for Matt. And the first pitch is low from Tucker Beasley, ball one. The wind is going to blow the ball out toward right field, right center field. Off the end of the bat is a foul ball. and The count even one and one on Gardner. A late change of venue. Lady Indians in action this afternoon at Indian Park. We're not able to broadcast that game because it moved from Donovan to Kennett. Just weren't ready for it. Foul ball at the plate off the batter Gardner in the count one and two. Do have a doubleheader coming up at Indian Park on Saturday. We'll have the broadcast of those games and tell you a little bit more detail about that. Baseball squad will be at Gibson County High School over in Tennessee. Curveball is just outside, ball two. Tucker Beasley, the righty. A nice breaking pitch that time, but Gardner wouldn't go for it. Now the 2-2 pitch, one out, nobody owned for the Indians, top of the first. A swing and a miss, first two batters retired for the Indians, and that brings up Hayden Gilmore. Gilmore leads the team with a 333 average. Leads the team in hits with 15. Singles, he's the leader with 12 on the season. The lefty facing the right-hander, Tucker Beasley. First pitch to Hayden, stroked right back up the middle for a two-out base hit. There's a base runner for Kennett. Line drive right back up the middle, and that'll bring up the cleanup hitter, Caleb Duncan. Caleb 
third leading hitter on the team with a 286 average. Has 12 hits, 10 of those singles. Leads the team, or tied for the lead with runs scored. Not a bad feat for a cleanup hitter and a catcher, but we all know Caleb can run well at his position. Ball one is high from Beasley. Gilmore, the base runner at first. Coach Aaron New in the third base coach's box. Coach Ronnie Llewellyn down in the first base coach's box for the Indians. The 1-0 pitch headed home. Fouled right back to the screen. Evens the count 1-1. Their softball facility right next to the baseball facility here at Green County Tech. But just a beautiful, beautiful ballpark. Curveball is on the inside corner. It called strike two to Caleb. Nice pitch that time from Tucker Beasley. So he got it to drop across the inside corner. We can also almost see Monty Lyons home from here. We're going to go eat with Monty a little later. If you're listening in, Monty will be coming over after the game. Curveball, and that's going to be hit in the hole. That's going to be a hit as the shortstop was covering the bag as Gilmore was off with the pitch, and Caleb hit it right where he needed to for an infield single, so two on and two out. Caden Pruitt. Pruitt comes to the plate. Driscoll was going to cover the bag, and Tried to break back toward the third base hold and dove for it and knocked it down. So runners at first and second for the Indians, two down. And now Pruitt at the plate takes a fastball in there from Tucker Beasley, strike one. Pruitt hitting 273 on the season. On base percentage is 333. He's been doing a good job getting varsity playing time, and he strokes this one out in the left center field. Coming on the center fielder, Scott will make the play. So a couple of runners stranded for the Indians at the top of the first on a couple of hits, but the Indians come up empty. We'll go to the bottom of the first. Green County Tech bats when we return to Kennett Indian Baseball right after this. Two of the biggest tournaments of the year come up in May at the Kennett Country Club. The three-man scramble on May 4th and 5th. The two-man scramble on May 18th and 19th. The fun continues in June with the mixed pairs June 8th and 9th. Member guests June 22nd and 23rd. And the four-lady scramble on June 25th. Get your team signed up today. Talk to Larry Boone or John Sammons of the Pro Shop and see the full tournament schedule on the Kennett Country Club Facebook page. Swing into spring and summer at the Kennett Country Club. Delicious deals for delicious meals at McDonald's. Get exclusive deals on your McDonald's favorites in the McDonald's app with contactless mobile order and convenient drive through pickup. Get a free large fries when you download the McDonald's app and join My McDonald's Rewards. Download it today. Your local Kennett McDonald's has been serving the Kennett community for over 30 years and is proud to support area youth. All your friends at the local McDonald's wish the Kennett Indians a safe and successful season. Go Indians! The human body is capable of the extraordinary. As well as the not so extraordinary. No matter your skill, restore your peak performance with the Orthodox, a dream team of orthopedic surgery. Get back in the game with the Orthodox at NEA Baptist. Hayden Gilmore, the left-hander, gets the start this afternoon for the Indians. Earned run average of .677. Gilmore has had a great junior season so far. Leads the team with strikeouts in 32 on the season. He's walked 12 batters, only given up two earned runs in almost 21 innings pitched on the season. So a great start for him, but he's going to face a good lineup here with Green County Tech. Driscoll will lead things off. Cannon Driscoll, the shortstop, right-handed hitter facing Hayden Gilmore, the lefty. Kennett Trust Bank, another one of our great sponsors on First Street in Kennett, locally owned, full-service bank. It's the first pitch headed home from Gilmore, a little bit low, ball one to Cannon Driscoll. Kennett Trust Bank has been serving Kennett in the surrounding area since 1963. Go see him. 
Line drive right center field, and that one's going to get down and be a lot of trouble as it gets between Morrison and Williams. Now going to be picked up and rounding second and headed for third. The throw in there too late, a leadoff triple off the bat of Canna Driscoll. Boy, he hit it in right center field, and there was nobody there. Morrison and Williams gave chase, and that's how we start the ball game. For Green County Tech. Keaton Watson will be the hitter, followed by Ring. Beasley, their pitcher, is their cleanup hitter. Ryan will hat bat fifth. He's the DH. Stewart will be batting sixth. Williams seventh as the first pitch in there. A called strike to Keaton Watson. Seventh place hitter is Williams. Then Jackson in the eight hole. And Scott, the center fielder, will bat ninth for Green County Tech. This pitch is low, evens the count one and one. Kennett with two hits, both coming with two outs in the top half of the inning. Could not get a run across. Leadoff triple for Green County Tech. Here in the bottom half of the first, Gilmore's next pitch a little bit low and outside. Ball two. Next baseball action will be bright and early from Medina, Tennessee at 10 o'clock Saturday morning. Then we play at 12.30. This pitch a little bit low. Ball three. Three and one. Now the count to Keaton Watson. Good crowd coming in here. Good group from Kennett also on hand this afternoon. Outside, ball four, runners at the corners. A triple and a walk. Cannon Ring, the third baseman, comes to the plate. Up next, number 10, the third baseman, Cannon Ring. I remember Cannon from previous years playing Green County Tech. Not exactly who you want to see with runners at the corners and nobody out in the bottom of the first inning. See if Gilmore can maybe get a double play ball off the bat of ring. Check swing and did not go ball one. Pretty good lead at first base by Watson. Now they'll pick Watson off. They won't throw down to second as Watson just ran straight down to second base and Driscoll was ready to race home if they happened to throw down to second. I almost feel like Watson was picked off on purpose on that play and very well could have been. Branham did not throw it down, which is probably a wise decision. Now a swing and a miss, one and one to count to Cannon Ring. Beasley, the pitcher in the on deck circle. One ball, one strike to count to ring. Runners at second and third, nobody down. Ball is hit down the right field side and out of play. One and two, now the count to ring. Gilmore out of the stretch, checks the runner at second and throws the pitch home. High ball two, two and two the count. We'll have baseball over on KCRV tomorrow from Zenith Hornersville. Cooter will play Zenith Hornersville, a four o'clock start there. And lots of action coming Saturday. This pitch, a swing and a miss. There's out number one, maybe a foul tip into the mid of Caleb Duncan. But that's out number one. So runners at the corners for the cleanup hitter, Tucker Beasley. Tucker hits from the left side, facing the left-hander, Hayden Gilmore. Tell you, if Hayden gets out of this jam without any damage done, he will be doing something after the leadoff triple and a walk. Almost curveball, almost hit the batter, Beasley. That's ball one. Ryan, the DH in the on-deck circle. Gilmore's next pitch to the plate. Outside corner is called strike one. Good pitch that time. Fastball on the outside corner. Kennedy infield back. I think they're going to 
taken out here and allow a run to score if they can get the second out of the inning. Swing and a miss. Another good fastball. And Beasley comes up empty. Preferably, if you're a Kennedy Indian fan, you're going to want another strikeout here. One and two, the count to Beasley with runners at second and third. The pitch, a little bit outside, ball two. Good take by Beasley that time. That one just a couple of inches off the plate. The lefty Hayden Gilmore comes set again. The 2-2 pitch. Ooh, almost hit him with a breaking pitch. The count goes full, three and two. Couple of pitches, the first one and then that one to Beasley. The fifth pitch of the bat almost hit him. Both breaking balls. The fastballs have all been around the outside corner. Now the 3-2 pitch. And a good job by Beasley to foul it out of play. Stay alive. Good fastball. Over the outside corner. The count remains 3-2. and two. One down. Runners at second and third for Green County Tech. The Golden Eagles of Green County Tech. Gilmore gets his sign from Caleb Duncan, his catcher. And his pitch. A little bit low, ball four. So the base is loaded for the DH, Brody Ryan. The law office of Pelts, McMullen, Edgington, and Morgan there are great, great broadcast sponsors. They have years of experience, and they're the name to know when you need an attorney. Located on College Avenue, give them a call, 888-4644. Right-handed hitter, Brody Ryan. Now the Indians would take the double play and get out of this inning without any damage done. Lead-off triple, a couple of walks, and a strikeout mixed in there. First pitch headed home, a little bit high, ball one to Brody Ryan. Gilmore has already thrown 20 pitches here in this opening inning. Line drive is going to get down in right field. Opposite way hit, picked up by Morrison. A couple of runs will score. The next runner coming home is going to be safe. And runners at the corners for Green County Tech, and they lead it two to nothing. Good job of hitting, just a line drive the opposite way. Morrison got it in quickly. Driscoll scored easily in a pretty close play with Watson coming home on the play. Beasley advances to third on the throw. And here's Jude Stewart, another left-handed batter for Green County Tech. Two-nothing Green County Tech, two runs on two hits. Triple and a single and a couple of walks mixed in. Again, they pick off the runner, and again, they're not going to throw down, but now they do, and, oh, they're dropping the ball. It popped out of the glove as Gardner tried to make the tag. They had the runner out, Ryan, but the ball rolled out of Gardner's glove as he reached down to make the tag, so the runner's safe. Branham looked at the runner at third to make sure he wasn't going home and then threw down to second. So, again, runners at second and third. Gilmore will step off the mound. One down here at the bottom of the first. Two runs in for Green County Tech. The first pitch is a curveball way high, ball one. Hayden so far hasn't found the touch for his curveball. When he has that, he is a really, really, really tough pitcher. But the fastball has been his best pitch so far, and he just hadn't been able to throw the curveball for strikes. This fastball is high, ball two, and it's 2-0. and oh. Gilmore's 2-0 pitch, hit right back up the middle and past J.C. Poole as he made a diving attempt for it. One run will score, and the runner will head down to second and end up there safely as the throw was cut off at the plate. Another hit, and it's 3-0 Green County Tech. Little fly ball that 
dropped. Actually, that was right past Kate Anderson. Anderson playing second. Beasley scored on the play, and then Stewart came home on the last play. But a great job by Anderson laying out on that one. Here's Jack Williams at the plate. It's 3-0 Green County Tech. Three runs, three hits. Now the infield is going to come in. They're going to try to keep that run from coming across the plate. First pitch on the outside corner. Strike one to Jack Williams. Defensively, Duncan behind the plate. Pool at third base. Gardner at short. And a ground ball foul outside of third. Matt Gardner, the shortstop. Kate Anderson, the freshman at second base. And Peyton Branham at first base for the Indians. The outfield is Patterson in left, Williams in center, and Morrison in right field. It's a check swing, and the batter goes around. And that's out number two. As Williams goes down on strikes. And here's Hayden Jackson, the catcher. Runners at second and third for Green County Tech. They lead three to nothing. The first pitch, a little bit high, ball one. Gilmore has thrown 28 pitches now on the ball game. His pitch count is getting up there in a hurry in this one. Fly ball, dying out in center field, and going back is Anderson to make the play. Anderson that time got under it, and that's out number three. But three runs, three hits for the Eagles. They lead three to nothing. Kennett bats top of the second right after this. Who doesn't love being number one? When your team's dominating the standings or your favorite band rocks the charts at number one, it feels good, right? Kind of like how it feels when you have auto insurance with State Farm. Because making you feel like number one is an honor your local State Farm agent takes seriously. Through the good times and not so good, your State Farm agent's proud to be here to help life go right. See State Farm agent Greg Wilson in Kennett. Call 888-4913. Hey, this is Daryl Wilcoxon with Wilcoxon's Home Place on the South Bypass in Kennett, Missouri. We're getting new products in every week and would like to help you make your place a show place. Living room suits, recliners, including lift chairs, bedroom suits, mattress sets with adjustable bases, appliances, and TVs. We have several payment options available. Come see us at Wilcoxon's Home Place Furniture and Appliance, 901 South Bypass in Kennett, Missouri. A family furniture tradition for over 70 years. Baker Implement Company and Case IH are proud to support area high school athletics. The same way we have supported our customers and the community for 86 years. Visit any of our 13 locations in Southeast Missouri and Northeast Arkansas to experience the power of red and the service and support that has kept customers coming back since 1938. Case IH and Baker Implement Company, supporting our community on the field and in your field. Indians come to bat in the second, needing some runs. It'll be Peyton Branham leading things off. Jack Morrison and Ashton Williams. Kate Anderson, if anyone can reach for the Indians. And Tucker Beasley with a low pitch count will start his second inning of work. 15 pitches for the right-hander in his first inning. And a foul tip into the mitt, strike one against Peyton Branham. Indians got a couple of two-out hits in the top of the first, but couldn't get a run across. Here's a strike. Curveball is a beauty in there to Peyton Branham. Lead off triple and mix in a couple of more hits, and a couple of walks, and three runs on the board for Green County Tech. Outside is ball one to Peyton Branham. Second leading hitter on the team is Branham, but he'll swing and miss here and the throw to first in time for out number one. But Peyton, a good senior season as he's batting 306 before that at bat on the year. Now Jack Morrison will hit. Right-handed hitter, one down for Kennett, top of the second. A ground ball back up the middle. Shortstop Driscoll over. Scoops throws to first in time for out number two here in the top of the second inning. Makes 
Ashton Williams will hit now for the Indians. Ashton leads the team with his three home runs. The wind blowing out here this afternoon. He takes the first pitch inside corner at the knee. Strike one from Tucker Beasley. Beasley's in there. He's pumping strikes in the strike zone so far this afternoon. His ball strike ratio has been very good. This ball hit up high in the air to left field. Left fielder Williams has a bead on it and hauls it in. One, two, three. Indians retired top of the second inning. They come up scoreless. Green County Tech bats bottom of the second, leading this three to nothing when we return. Kennett Indian Baseball right after this. Looking for a reliable, lightning-fast internet service that doesn't break the bank? Kennett Board of Public Works is here with their fiber optic internet service, starting at just $29.95 a month with speeds up to 1 gigabit per second. And the best part? Kennett Board of Public Works is your local provider, committed to serving the community with top-notch customer service and a network you can count on. Experience the power of fiber optics. Sign up now and revolutionize your internet experience with Kennett Board of Public Works Internet Service. Hello, this is Darren Todd, Republican candidate for Circuit Judge of the 35th Judicial Circuit, comprising Dunklin and Stoddard Counties. I am asking for your vote in the August 6th Republican primary for a six-year term. I'm a 1991 graduate of Holcomb High School, a 1996 graduate of Southeast Missouri State University, and a 1999 graduate of Southern Illinois University School of Law. I will represent the people of the 35th Judicial Circuit with patience, open-mindedness, compassion, understanding, and firmness. Paid for by the committee to elect Darren Todd Judge, Kim Campbell Treasurer. Good to have you along, Green County Tech High School and Bruce Hunt Field, the brand new facility with Kennett on the wrong side of the 3-0 score as we go to the bottom of the second. 9-1-2 and two due up for Green County Tech. Case and Scott will lead things off. Tad Jones alongside wearing the headset, so if he uh, wants to jump in there anytime during this ball game, he can, <laughs> he can go right ahead. Ball one, low and away. Monty Lyons handling our radio duties. Ball two, up and away. Beasley, the pitcher for Green County Tech, is his ball strike ratio at just been amazing so far in the ball game as this pitch is ball three and it's three and oh but looking at Beasley's numbers 22 pitches 18 of those for strikes and a four pitch walk to Case and Scott and Hayden's having problems finding the strike zone here this afternoon leadoff hitter Cannon Driscoll who tripled to start the ball game comes to the plate 19 balls, 14 strikes, and three hits so far for Hayden in the ball game. Struck out two and walked three so far. That's not customary for the lefty. Here's a strike on the inside corner to Driscoll. Strike one. Driscoll's triple was to right center field. Got between Morris and Williams. Rolled out near the fence. Pitch stays a little bit high, one and one, the count to Driscoll. Outside is ball two, two and one. We play Munford, Tennessee, 10 o'clock on Saturday. That's the next Kennett Indian baseball game, a throw to first, and the runner back in there safely. That'll be followed by the host team, South Gibson County, at 12.30. Softball at Indian Park. That'll be Monty and Tad coming up at 11 o'clock, East Carter County, the opponent at Indian Park, St. Genevieve at 3. This pitch back to the backstop. He's going to make the count 3-1 and one and let the runner, Scott, move up to second on the play. I mentioned tomorrow we have KCRV baseball from Zenith Ornersville. Ball four is outside. Hayden just doesn't have it so far in this ball game. He has a long look toward the dugout, and that's 38 pitches. Two on, nobody out here in the bottom of the second inning.
Keaton Watson, who walked his first plate appearance. At the plate here. Kennett would love the double play. Outside corner is a called strike to Watson. Strike one. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Good pitch on the outside part of the plate from Hayden Gilmore. And it's 0-2 to Watson. Pitch is a called strike three on the outside corner. There's out number one. Third strikeout of the ball game for the Kennett left-hander. Cannon ring at the plate. He was one of those strikeout victims. His first plate appearance facing the lefty Hayden Gilmore. Runners at first and second. One down now in the bottom of the second. They'll look the runner Scott back at second without a throw. It's Poole at third this afternoon. Gardner at short. Anderson at second. Branham at first. Outfield Patterson in left. Williams in center. Morrison in right. Swing and a miss. Another good fastball. Low and away at the knees. Strike one. To Cannon Ring. Coach New still looking for those defensive adjustments that will make his ball club better. Trying to get better before the district tournament. But errors have been a big problem for the team so far this season. This ball will hit the batter. So hit by a pitch. And the bases are loaded with one down in the second. Here's the pitcher, Tucker Beasley. Beasley walked his first at bat. Left-handed hitter. Outfield plays Beasley to pull. Gilmore's first pitch. Foul ball down the left field line, I think, and it is foul. Is giving chase was Patterson, but that's strike one. They're playing Beasley around the pool, and Patterson had a long way to run for that one, about a five-foot outside the line going down the left field to the foul pole down the left field line. Now the 0-1 pitch to Beasley with the bases loaded and one out. Here's a fly ball on the infield, infield fly rule, and the batter out, J.C. Poole, will catch this one anyway, and that's two down in the inning. Brody Ryan now will hit. Brody, a big hit, his first at bat, a line drive to right field that drove in, I believe, two runs with that hit. First pitch a little bit high from Gilmore, ball one. Bases loaded again for Green County Tech, but so far no runs across here in the second inning. Three runs, three hits for the Eagles. No runs, two hits for the Indians. And a pickoff back to second. And nice job by Gardner to save that from going into center field. Saving a run. They had some daylight out there with the runner at second, Driscoll. He's the leadoff hitter. and Of course, with good speed down at second base. So we approach 5 o'clock here at Green County Tech High School and Bruce Hunt Field. Outside is ball two, two and oh, no place to put Brody Ryan with the bases loaded and two outs. Kennett Indian Baseball on KBOA FM, Piggott Kennett. You're home for Kennett Indian Baseball all season long. Next pitch. Here's a strike at the letters. And the count two and one. Two balls, one strike, and two outs. Wind really picks up here at the ballpark as Ryan asks for time and is granted. Big gust of wind then as 
Bases loaded, 2-1 count on Ryan. Two down in the inning, and the pitch, swing and a miss. Count goes to 2-2. Two and two. Runner at third is Scott, who started the inning. Then Driscoll down at second, Ring down at first. And a 2-2 pitch to Brody Ryan. Outside, and the count is full, so the runners will be off with this pitch. Three and two and two outs. Green County Tech leads three to nothing. Looking for more. Hayden Gilmore with his 51st pitch of the ball game. Coming to the plate with the bases loaded and two down. The pitch, a little bit low, ball four. And that walks in a run. 4-0 Green County Tech, bottom of the second. Left-handed hitting first baseman Jude Stewart comes to the plate. Coach Aaron New is going to go out to the mound. Stewart hit a little fly ball that Anderson made a bid to dive out and catch as it was dying out in right center field, but that's going to do it for the Kennett starter, and we're going to have, I believe, Jackson Patterson coming into the ball game. So we'll tell you about the pitching change when we come back to Green County Tech. Bases loaded, two down for the Eagles. They lead four to nothing. Pitching change underway. Back with more after this. Now is the time to get your air conditioner serviced for the warm days ahead. Let the experienced techs at Duncan Sheet Metal replace that old unit with a new high-efficiency unit to stay more comfortable during the upcoming warmer months. A new high-efficiency unit will pay for itself with the big savings you see on your utility bill. Turn to the experts at Duncan Sheet Metal today for service and installation. 601 Highway VV in Kennett. Duncan Sheet Metal wishes Caleb Duncan and the entire Kennett Indian baseball team the best of luck this season. I'm Nick Darter, a candidate for Dunklin County Sheriff. I am a husband, father, and God-fearing man. I have been in law enforcement for 14 years as a field training officer, firearms instructor, taser instructor, school resource officer, mentor, and a volunteer firefighter. It is my desire to bring the experience I've acquired as well as the values that have been instilled in me to the Sheriff's Office. I would appreciate your vote August 6th for Dunklin County Sheriff, so together we can see Dunklin County be an even safer future. Paid for by the committee to elect Nick Darter for Sheriff, Philip A. Sandy, Treasurer. Agriculture is not a fad, and it's not for the faint of heart. Long days become long nights, sacrificing time away from family, even on weekends, just so you can get the crop in and get the crop out. This is your way of life. At Farm Credit Southeast Missouri, we are 100% bought in to your commitment. Because we are customer-owned, it is our mission to be your ag lender, and we intend to be your value-added partner for next year and the long term. Your ag lender will always be there. New pitcher for the Indians will be Jackson Patterson. Jackson Patterson coming on is another one of the youngsters in this lineup. And he'll be facing this uh, very good Green County Tech Eagle Ball Club with the uh, bases loaded and two down. Not an easy position for Patterson to come into the ball game. He's pitched seven and a third innings on the season. He's paced, uh, faced 37 hitters in all. Struck out five while he was in there. And trying to get out number three of the second inning with Green County Tech up four to nothing. The lefty Hayden Gilmore in inning in two-thirds. We'll look at. Gilmore's numbers when we get a moment. The first pitch from Patterson fouled off of the plate by Jude Stewart, strike one. I mentioned Stewart's hit. Just got over the second baseman Anderson's head. His first at bat, left-handed hitter Stewart. Takes this one low and outside from Patterson, ball one. I know Coach Aaron knew once these young pitchers that haven't seen a lot of varsity experience, they want to get seasoned here during the regular season. So no better way than against a 15-3 and three opponent here at Green County Tech. Fouled at the plate. That's one and two to the batter, Jude Stewart. 
Jackson Patterson getting his first varsity experience this season. First varsity experience on the mound this season. Trying to get out of this jam. He's ahead in the count. One ball and two strikes to Jude Stewart. Now time is called at the plate. Wind has died down just a bit, and then it'll gust once again, blowing out toward right center field. One and two the count to Stewart Patterson with the bases loaded. Checks the runners. As he pitches out of the stretch. The pitch. Swing and a miss and a change up. Patterson with a great job to get out of the jam, but Green County Tech adds another run. They lead four to nothing. Kennett bats top of the third when we return with Kennett Indian Baseball right after this. First Missouri Bank of SEMO understands that banking is more than just managing dollars and cents. It's about strengthening relationships, helping neighbors, believing in our communities, and planning for the future. FM Bank proudly offers competitive rates on personal, home, agricultural, and business loans, and all banking decisions are made here in our local communities. Visit any of our FM Bank locations today for more info. To us, people matter. FM Bank is also proud to sponsor Kennett Indian Sports. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. You all hear me tell the stories on our Glen St. Ads, and I enjoy people coming to me and referring to certain stories. Some of these stories go way back. We will continue to tell stories, mention our troops, and tell our customers how much our families appreciate their business. Our people always look forward to seeing you. We want you to enjoy your visit. Best price, best service. Glen St. and God bless our troops. Final numbers for Hayden Gilmore, 51 pitches for Hayden as uh, 23 strikes, 28 balls. That was just the kind of day it was. Gave up four hits, or three hits and four runs. All four were earned. He walked five and struck out three, and he hit a batter this afternoon. Jackson Patterson coming in with the bases loaded and two down. Got a strikeout and got the Indians out of that jam in the bottom of the second. Now it'll be Cade Anderson, J.C. Poole, and Matt Gardner to hit. Hayden Gilmore, if anyone can reach for the Indians. Indians, no runs on two hits. Four runs, three hits for the Eagles. Ball one inside to Anderson. Freshman starting at second base this afternoon. This is the 13th plate appearance for Anderson on the season, and he takes a strike. Again, Coach New just looking for whatever defensive adjustments that he can make to put the fielders out there. And Anderson is hit by the pitch. So there's a leadoff base runner for the Indians. J.C. Poole will bat now for Kennett. Is Anderson down at first. J.C. flied out to the left fielder. Williams, his first at bat. Trying to take it the opposite way. Williams playing shallow in left field. Compton out in right field. Fairly deep and guarding the line for the left-handed hitting pool. First pitch from Beasley headed home is a called strike. 0-1 to Kennett Sr. J.C. Pool. Good crowd from Kennett here. Good crowd for Green County Tech. Covered... Bleachers right behind home plate. Lots of room for lawn chairs. Some bleachers down each side toward first and third. Curveball stays high from Beasley. One and one. Now the count to J.C. Poole. Kate Anderson, the base runner at first. They'll throw over there, and Anderson slides back in safely. Skeeter Kell Sporting Goods, one of our great broadcast sponsors. They're not just a name, but they're a tradition for over 60 years. They've been the premier sports provider of area teams, coaches, and players. Outside is ball two, two and one to count now to J.C. Poole. Skeeter Kell Sporting Goods, they wish the Indians and all the area teams best of luck this season. When you need sporting goods, it's Skeeter Kell. Thanks to Roger and all the crew at Skeeter Kell. Every year helping support our broadcast of Kennett Indian Sports. Swing and a miss by J.C. evens the count two and two. Good low and outside delivery from Beasley. Anderson, the base runner at first. Nobody down, and we are in the top of the third. Green County Tech leads four to nothing. 
Big gap in left center field. J.C. can hit it that way. He hits it hard to the first base, but now it's a foot race down the back, and out at first is Poole just by a step. Stewart knocked it down, and a little slow covering the pitcher. Actually, not covering was the pitcher, and Stewart won the foot race down to first for the out. So Stewart retires Poole, and Anderson moves down to second for Matt Gardner. Matt, a strikeout victim, his first at bat, takes a curveball, high, ball one. Outfield not playing Matt very deep. If Gardner gets a hold of one, he will uh, let him chase it for a while. 1-0 and the count to Gardner. Good pitch, low and at the knees on the outside corners. Strike one, 1-1 one one the count to Gardner. Anderson, the runner at second. The pitch to Matt. Outside corner is called strike two. One and two the count to Gardner. Matt takes this one on the inside corner. Called strike three. A curveball that just broke back over the inside part of the plate. Two down for the Indians, and Hayden Gilmore will hit. Hayden with the first Kennett hit in the ball game. A line drive right back up the middle. Another one of those, and Kennett might have a run on the scoreboard. They trail four to nothing. So we play with two down in the third. Curveball is inside to Gilmore, ball one. T.R. Baker Insurance in Kennett, another one of our great broadcast sponsors. They're an independent insurance agency. And this ball hit out into left field. Coming on is Williams. He's under it for out number three. Indian Strand, a runner in the top of the third. So we'll take a break. We'll tell you more about T.R. Baker when we go to the bottom of the third. Green County Tech bats leading this one four to nothing. Back with more right after this. It's always a home run when you visit the all-new Home Plate Bar and Grill at the I-55 exit in Hayti. They have delicious food served up hot and fresh. Be sure to check out their daily lunch and dinner specials. Their catfish, the best around, plus chicken, shrimp, steaks, and their smash burgers will keep you coming back for more. They have 10, yes, 10 big screen TVs where you can catch all the big games. Be sure to like them on Facebook. Slide into home at the Home Plate Bar and Grill at the I-55 exit in Hey, Ty. Kennett Bowling Lanes is under new ownership, and they're excited to announce new menu items coming soon with delicious lunch specials every day. Looking for a fun family outing? Family night is every Wednesday night from 4 to 8. Kids bowl for free with a meal purchase. Book your next birthday party with a basic or pizza party package. They can also host business events. Call 888 9400 to make a reservation or stop by 1315 St. Francis Street in Kennett. Kennett Bowling Lanes. Strike up some fun. Well, Jackson Patterson starts our Jack. Uh, Jackson Patterson starts his second inning work, and boy, he got out of a bases loaded jam coming in relief of Gilmore. Got a strikeout on four pitches. It'll be Jack Williams, the seventh hole hitter, followed by Jackson and Scott for Green County Tech. Patterson wants to keep it right where it is. Four nothing lead for Green County Tech. I mentioned T R Baker Insurance that. Independent Insurance Agency, and they have been serving the area since 1966. They have personal and business lines of insurance available for life, health, workers' compensation, and much more. Give them a call for an insurance quote today. T.R. Baker Insurance. Throw goes down to second, and Jack Williams is ready to step into the box here at Green County Tech. Beautiful day for baseball. We're expecting good weather tomorrow and then good weather also on Saturday when we play a couple of games, baseball games, over in Medina, Tennessee. Foul back to the backstop is strike one off the bat of Jack Williams. Softball Indians playing a couple of games at Indian Park. Curveball from Patterson is high, ball one, one and one the count. 
mention the softball games. The first one against East Carter, the second against St. Genevieve. Outside corner, that's called strike two. One and two now to Jack Williams. Jackson Patterson's came in looking good in relief. So far and facing his second batter and a ground ball in the hole. Tough play for the shortstop Gardner as he'll knock it down, but wouldn't have a play anyway on Jack Williams. Poole was going to his left, but that was hit perfectly between Poole and Gardner, Gardner for infield single. Indians would love their first double play of the afternoon. Fourth hit of the day for Green County Tech. Hayden Jackson, the catcher, will hit. He popped out to Kate Anderson at second, his first plate appearance. First pitch, fouled at the plate, strike one. I will assume, because there's a gap between the softball games, that East Carter and St. Genevieve will play each other in game two. A runner goes, throw down to second, is not in time. He's going to get in center field, but backed up there by Ashton Williams, the runner with a stolen base. Down at second base now for Green County Tech, and nobody out. Hayden Jackson trying to drive in another Green County Tech run. Nobody out and a runner at second. Ground ball back up the middle. Gardner over to his left. Picks it up and throws to first in time for out number one. So the batter out at first. Williams will advance to third on the play. Number 17, Kaysen Scott. Kaysen Scott, the center fielder comes to the plate. Now they're going to say safe at first. They're going to say the throw pulled first baseman off, and now Coach Aaron New is going to come out. The home plate umpire called the base umpire over and just overruled the base umpire. Coach New getting an explanation here. So there's runners at first and third now. On the ground ball, and that will probably be ruled as an error. On the Kennett Indians. And Jackson at first, Williams at third. Nobody out. And here's Case and Scott at the plate. Let's pitch inside, ball one to Scott from Jackson Patterson. The 1 0 pitch, but throw to first, and ooh, just back in there safely was the base runner, Jackson. Quick tag by Branham and a good move by Jackson Patterson. Kennett would take a double play for a couple of outs here. Strike called on the outside corner. One and one the count to Scott. Leadoff hitter Driscoll in the on-deck circle for Green County Tech. Another throw to first, and the runner back in there safely. Patterson keeping them close over there. Has a good move. One ball, one strike to count to Scott. Middle infield at double play depth. The runner goes. The pitch low and outside, and the throw down to second. Not in time. The runner does not attempt to score, and stolen base on the ball. Makes it two and one. Runners at second and third. It's Jackson steals second. Takes out the double play, and Indian infield will come in trying to stop that run from scoring. Down four to nothing already. 
There's a base hit between first and second into right field. Williams scores the first run. Now they're going to hold up the runner and sliding back is Jackson down at third base. It's first and third, 5 nothing Tech. Line drive between Anderson and Branham into right field. Williams scores, Jackson to third, Scott to first, and back to the top of the order in Cannon Driscoll. We are in the bottom of the third. It's 5 nothing Green County Tech. Nobody out here in this inning. First pitch from Patterson, a called strike on the outside corner. Now time is called by the batter, Driscoll. Middle infield at double play depth for the Indians. At third, J.C. Poole about even with the bag. Pitch bounces at the plate, and that will let the runner, Scott, advance down to second on the ball. Blocked by Caleb Duncan, but Scott have e easily reaches second base. Second and third, and still nobody out in the inning. Infield comes in for Kennett. Driscoll at the plate. Takes this one on the outside corner, one and two. Ultimate Fitness and Sports, another one of our broadcast sponsors. Get in shape for the warm summer months ahead. Great membership plans available at Ultimate Fitness and Sports. A change up and a swing and a miss by Driscoll. That's a good pitch from Patterson. Indians needed that one. One down, runners at second and third. Up next, number one, Keaton Watson. 5-0, Green County Tech. Indians want to keep it right where it is. Watson 0 for 1 on the day. Infield in. Watson has walked. And he takes ball one here. So he has walked and struck out so far on the afternoon. Infield's going to try to keep Jackson from scoring at third on a ground ball on the infield. One down. Ball two is outside. Two and oh. Ring in the on deck circle for the Golden Eagles. Patterson's two oh. Inside corners called strike one, two and one. Can it outfield fairly shallow? They're going to try to, on a fly ball at the outfield, try to cut down the runner Jackson, trying to tag and score. A 2 1 to Watson. Bounces and blocked at the plate by Duncan. Runners stay put, but it's 3 and 1 now on the batter, Keaton Watson. Morrison with the pitch, outside ball four, the bases are loaded. Cannon Ring will be the hitter. Ring struck out, been hit by a pitch this afternoon. Middle infield at double play depth. Branham at first is also back. About even with the bag at third is J.C. Poole for this number three order hitter, Cannon Ring. First pitch to Ring, bounce back up the middle. Tough play there for Anderson. He'll shovel to second for the force out, and they'll throw it back to third behind the runner. And back in there safely, the base runner, but a run scores on the bouncing ball back up the middle. Anderson flips to Gardner for the out. So now one out in the inning. And they'll throw over to first and the runner back in there safely.
next pitches. A ball to the batter, Tucker Beasley, the left-hander. Wind blowing hard again toward the outfield. Runner takes off on the pitch. They're trying to get him in the rundown. They'll throw back to third. Anderson, a nice play, cutting it off as Ring on purpose tried to draw that throw, but he'll be down at second base. And the count one and one on the batter, Tucker Beasley. Two outs in the inning. And a 6-0 Green County Tech lead. Ball two is low and outside. Bentley Farms in Dudley, Missouri. Wes and Chantel Bentley with Bentley Farms. They're Kennett residents. Big Kennett Indian baseball fans. And supported the broadcast for a long time. Base hit in the right field between first and second. One run will score. They'll stop the runner at third, and it'll be runners at the corners. And a 7 0 Green County Tech lead. There's a right between Anderson and Branham. Scott scores on the play. Ring to third. Beasley, the base runner at first, and now Brody Ryan at the plate. Brody has walked and singled on the line drive out to right field. Two outs in the inning, but three runs in for Green County Tech. They lead seven to nothing. Ball one outside. No runs, two hits for the Indians. Seven runs, six hits for Green County Tech so far this afternoon. This ball bounces the plate. Runner at third does not advance, but the runner Beasley at first will move down to second on the pitch. And he's in scoring position. Takes the force out, out of play. Hayden Gilmore, I don't think I mentioned it, but after leaving the mound, he went out in left field. Patterson coming in from left field, doing the pitching for the Indians. It's still Williams in center, Morrison in right field for Kennett. Three and O's. This pitch misses inside to Ryan. Ball is popped up, foul territory, and Branham will go over and not able, and he makes the play. Good play over there by Branham. Couldn't hardly see it for the lip of the dugout sticking out, but Branham fighting the sun and the wind makes the play. A couple of runners stranded, but Tech scores three. They lead seven to nothing. Kennett bats top of the fourth when we return right after this. Two of the biggest tournaments of the year come up in May at the Kennett Country Club. The three-man scramble on May 4th and 5th. The two-man scramble on May 18th and 19th. The fun continues in June with the mixed pairs June 8th and 9th. Member guests June 22nd and 23rd. And the four-lady scramble on June 25th. Get your team signed up today. Talk to Larry Boone or John Sammons of the Pro Shop and see the full tournament schedule on the Kennett Country Club Facebook page. Swing into spring and summer at the Kennett Country Club. Delicious deals for delicious meals at McDonald's. Get exclusive deals on your McDonald's favorites in the McDonald's app with contactless mobile order and convenient drive through pickup. Get a free large fries when you download the McDonald's app and join My McDonald's Rewards. Download it today. Your local Kennett McDonald's has been serving the Kennett community for over 30 years and is proud to support area youth. All your friends at the local McDonald's wish the Kennett Indians a safe and successful season. Go Indians! It'll be four, five, and six due up for the Indians. Caleb Duncan, followed by Pruitt and Branham. Morrison, if anyone can reach. And the Indians trailing seven to nothing, needing some hits, needing some runs. Caleb Duncan, one for one this afternoon as he singled on an infield hit. Driscoll going in the hole toward third. Knocked it down, but did not have a play on. Can it clean up hitter Duncan? Swing and a miss by Caleb, strike one. 
Kennett has to be mindful of a 10 run rule situation as ball one goes to the backstop. So we play in the top of the fourth inning. One and one the count to the batter, Caleb Duncan. Kennett has not hit the ball hard this afternoon. Gilmore with a single up the middle and the infield hit by Caleb. That's two and one. They have not squared anything up really well against Tucker Beasley. Gilmore has hit the hardest of the Kennett hits so far. Ball three is low. Three and one. The count. Beasley to Duncan. Gilmore's hit. He didn't really swing hard at it. He was just trying to put it in play and did. Line drive back up the middle. Now the 3 1 to Caleb. Ball four is low. So a leadoff walk for the Indians. Brings up Caden Pruitt. Caden fly down to the center fielder, Scott, his first at bat. Lots of room down the left field line. Pruitt turns on one. It's the wind blowing out toward right field. And the outfield shaded over that way. Ball one inside to Pruitt from Beasley. JV game coming up next. Now coming over the shortstop, Driscoll will visit with Beasley as pitcher real quick. Now Driscoll trots back out to short. Green County Tech middle infielders looking for the double play ball. The pitch, line drive, left field is going to go foul. Out in front of it, Pruitt. And that's strike one, one and one the count. May have been the hardest hit ball the Kennett's hit so far this afternoon, but pulled foul off the bat of Pruitt. Now the one one to Pruitt. Curve ball is. A little bit low, ball two, two and one. Duncan reached on a leadoff walk. Beasley's pitch count, just 44 as he works here in the fourth inning. So his pitch count is low. Runner goes, throw down a second is high and stolen base there by Caleb Duncan. And it's three and one on the batter, Pruitt. Duncan in scoring position now for the Indians. Pruitt trying to drive in the first Kennett run of the ball game. He pulls this one foul and goes off the netting in front of the Green County Tech dugout down the third baseline. Driscoll retrieves it out in short left field. <laughs> Another hard hit ball by Pruitt. But now the count full on Caden, three and two. Duncan at seven, second, nobody out. Pruitt fouls it straight back to the screen. Good at bat by Pruitt as he's battling in there. Stays alive, three and two. Another one of these youngsters on this Kennett team. Pruitt back in box, the 3-2 pitch. Ball four, good at bat, Caden Pruitt. First two have reached for Kennett here in the top of the fourth. And here's Peyton Branham. Catcher will go out and visit with his pitcher. Give us a chance to tell you about Kennett Trust Bank on First Street in Kennett. They're locally owned, a full-service bank for personal and business accounts, serving Kennett and the surrounding area since 1963. You're not just a number, you're a valued community member who they're proud to call a customer at Kennett Trust Bank. Very quick visit to the mound by Coach Bruce Hunt here. Quick word for his pitcher, Tucker Beasley. Peyton Branham will try to do some damage. Two on, nobody out. Peyton was a strikeout victim, his first plate appearance against Beasley. Get it trailing seven to nothing.
Knight hits the first pitch in the air out toward right field. Pretty well hit, and it's going to get over the right fielder's head. One hop the fence out there, and the runners had to hold up. But, boy, that ball was well hit the opposite field, and that wind carried it. Compton got a, kind of got turned around out there looking into the setting sun, but that was over his head and just short hop the fence. That is a long, long single, folks. But Branham would have been at second, but Duncan had to hold up at second, thinking that Compton might catch it. Bases loaded, Indians, nobody down. And here's Jack Morrison. Jack grounded out to the shortstop Driscoll, his first at bat. Swing and misses. A high fastball, strike one. Ashton Williams in the on-deck circle for Kennett. That's the first ball we've really seen this afternoon. That get, out, get up in that wind and took advantage of that wind blowing out. Curve ball is just inside ball one. Didn't miss by much. One and one the count to Jack Morrison. Bases loaded for the Indians. Corner infielder is going to try to get the force out at home. Ball two is high. Two and one. Middle infielders, and double play depth. Again, Driscoll with encouragement to his pitcher, Tucker Beasley. Morrison back in the box, the 2-1 pitch with the bases loaded. And nobody out, swing and a miss, and it's 2-2. Two and two. Ashton Williams in the on-deck circle for Kennett. The pitch, curveball almost hit the batter, Morrison, but that's ball three, three and two. Kennett would take a run any way they can get it here. Base is loaded, nobody out, and a 3-2 count to Jack Morrison. Tucker Beasley, probably going to give him a fastball here, and he does, and it's outside corner, and it's called strike three. First out of the inning. And that brings in Ashton Williams. And now a visit to the mound. And Coach Bruce Hunt I'm probably going to make a pitching change here. As Beasley with 55 pitches on the day will hand the baseball to his head coach. We'll tell you about the new pitcher for Green County Tech when we return to the ballpark right after this. The human body is capable of the extraordinary. as well as the not so extraordinary. No matter your skill, restore your peak performance with the Orthodox, a dream team of orthopedic surgery. Get back in the game with the Orthodox at NEA Baptist. Who doesn't love being number one? When your team's dominating the standings or your favorite band rocks the charts at number one, it feels good, right? Kind of like how it feels when you have auto insurance with State Farm. Because making you feel like number one is an honor your local State Farm agent takes seriously. Through the good times and not so good, your State Farm agent's proud to be here to help life go right. See State Farm agent Greg Wilson in Kennett. Call 888-4913. Hey, this is Daryl Wilcoxon with Wilcoxon's Home Place on the South Bypass in Kennett, Missouri. We're getting new products in every week and would like to help you make your place a show place. Living room suits, recliners, including lift chairs, bedroom suits, mattress sets with adjustable bases, appliances, and TVs. We have several payment options available. Come see us at Wilcoxon's Home Place Furniture and Appliance, 901 South Bypass in Kennett, Missouri. A family furniture tradition for over 70 years. Benton Farmer, the right-hander, comes on in relief with the bases loaded and one down, top of the fourth inning. And here's Ashton Williams. Boy, a big hit by Ashton here. Could change things around. A big cut, and he fouls the first one back over the stream. Strike one. Again, Ashton leads the team with home runs with three this season. That wind blowing out. Branham hit one. Just short of the fence, opposite way right field. Curve ball inside is ball one to Ashton. Almost hitting, but Ashton didn't flinch. 
takes it for ball one. He would have took it for an RBI if the ball would have hit him. Middle infield at double play depth for Green County Tech. Corner infielders will try to get the force out at home. The 1-1 one, one pitch to Williams. Bounces at the plate. Jackson and I stop behind the plate for that'll keep the runners put for second and third and a 2-1 count on Ashton Williams he can look for something he likes here and he didn't like this one and takes it for ball three three and one so the pitcher farmer's gonna have to come in there to Ashton Williams the home run would make things a little more interesting here at Green County Tech as we play in the top of the fourth Ashton takes ball four, and there's the first run of the ball game for the Indians. RBI for the Kennett Senior. Williams takes the walk, and here's Kate Anderson. Anderson was hit by pitch, his first at bat. See if the freshman can come up with a big hit. J.C. Poole moves to the on-deck circle. One out, base is loaded, 7-1 to our score. Green County Tech leading Kennett. Anderson takes ball, strike one on the inside corner. From Benton Farmer. A one pitch to Anderson. Cade pops it up over the backstop, and it's 0-2 to Anderson. Base is loaded for Kennett. One run in here in the inning. One run, three hits for the Indians. Seven runs, six hits for Green County Tech. Anderson trying to drive a couple in with a base hit here. The 0-2 pitch to Anderson. Swing and a miss. There's out number two in the inning. And J.C. Poole will hit with the bases loaded. Now two down. J.C. looking for his first hit of the afternoon. Flied out to left and grounded out to the first baseman. First baseman Stewart this time playing way back with the bases loaded and two down. First pitch to J.C. A little bit high and outside, ball one. Matt Gardner in the on-deck circle for Kennett. Kennett needs to get several runs here in this fourth inning. They've got one. Finally on the scoreboard, but trying to make it a big inning. J.C. could help do that. He takes ball two. Two and oh. Driscoll will go in and again visit with the pitcher, this time Benton Farmer in relief for Green County Tech. Two balls, no strikes to J.C. Poole. Bases loaded and two outs. J.C. bounces it right back to the pitcher on one hop, and he'll throw to first for the out. Kennett gets a run. It's 7-1. Green County Tech leads. They go to bat in the bottom of the fourth when we return right after this. Hello, everyone. I'm Aaron Wainick, and I'm running for sheriff of Dunklin' County. I'm a lifelong resident of Dunklin' County, and I have over 25 years' experience in the field of law enforcement. During my career, I have been blessed to have been trained by and worked beside some of the best the business has had to offer. I have the experience and integrity to lead the sheriff's office in the years to come. I am married to my best friend, Leah Joe, and we have two beautiful daughters, Ella Kate and Emery Lynn. My family and I would like to ask for your vote in August 6, 2024 primary. Thank you. Paid for by the committee to elect Aaron Wainick, Dunklin County Sheriff, Karen Vandiver, Treasurer. Baker Implement Company and Case IH are proud to support area high school athletics. The same way we have supported our customers and the community for 86 years. Visit any of our 13 locations in Southeast Missouri and Northeast Arkansas to experience the power of red and the service and support that has kept customers coming back since 1938. Case IH and Baker Implement Company, supporting our community on the field and in your field. New pitcher coming on for the Indians is Owen Williams. Owen comes on to do some work here. A few defensive changes for the Indians as J.C. Poole has moved from third to short and Matt Gardner has moved from shortstop to third. 
Kate Anderson at second, Peyton Branham at first base for the Indians. Gilmore in left, Ashton Williams in center, Jack Morrison in right. And here's Jude Stewart, one for two, left-handed hitting first baseman. and Ball one from Owen Williams to Stewart. Seven to one, Green County Tech leads. And we're in the bottom of the fourth inning. Curveball is a strike. One and one the count to Stewart. Green County Tech, 15 and three so far this season. The 1 1. Outside corner is called strike two. Good pitch from Owen Williams. Some of these young pitchers can it getting a look at them here. These guys are going to be important going down the stretch. This curveball stays outside. Ball two, two and two. They need some experience, and they're getting it here this afternoon against a really good ball club for Green County Tech. The 2 2 pitch fouled out of play. Stewart stays alive. Stewart, Williams, and Jackson do up this inning for Green County Tech. Next pitch to the plate, a curveball hit. Just foul outside of first. The count remains two and two. Didn't miss hopping over the bag by much. South Gibson County, that's where we'll be for two games on Saturday. Our next Kennedy Indian baseball action coming your way. Outside ball three, three and two to Stewart. From Owen Williams. Third pitcher used by Kennett in this ball game. Curveball. This one hit over the bag and fair at first. Trying to dive for it. Branham couldn't come up with it. Getting it in quickly is Morrison out in right field and holds the batter Stewart to a single. Ball right over the bag. He flirted with one earlier in the at bat that was just foul. Now Jack Williams at the plate. Jack one for two as he struck out and singled infield hit to the shortstop. Now the throw to first and the runner back in there safely. The law office of Peltz, McMullen, Edgington, and Morgan, another great broadcast sponsor. They have years of experience. The name to trust when you need an attorney, a curveball, and Showing bunt was Williams, and he'll take it for ball one as it sails over his head. Stewart, the base runner at first. In showing bunt, a bunt down the third baseline, and Gardner alertly will pull his hands back and let it roll foul. Almost touched it in fair territory, then he thought better. And knowing the spin of the ball off the bat. It goes foul. So one and one, the count to Jack Williams. Gardner now at third base. J.C. Poole at shortstop for the Indians. They're changing things around a bit on the infield. Several positions today. The freshman Anderson at second. Branham at first. Again, they'll show Bunt. This time Bunt it down the first baseline. Tough play there. Branham down to Anderson covering the bag. And there's out number one. The freshman Anderson got over there. On the bunt, but the sacrifice is good. Owen Williams. Or Peyton Branham to Kate Anderson. Stewart moves down to second base. Here's Hayden Jackson, the catcher. Pelts, McMullen, Edgington, and Morgan. If you need an attorney, they're the ones to call. 888-4644. We appreciate their support of our broadcast. Curveball hit. To the shortstop. There's J.C. Poole. His long throw over. He's going to bounce in front of Branham at first. And that'll get past the first baseman. And the run will score. Stewart comes in to score on the play. And it's 8-1 to one in favor of Green County Tech. The base runner, Jackson, stopped at first. Batter will be hit by this pitch. 
Jackson to second, Scott to first, and back to the top of the order in Cannon Driscoll. It's eight to one, Green County Tech. Driscoll, if he could score in the inning, would give Green County Tech that 10 run lead before Kennett bats in the top of the fifth. Kennett trying to hold him right here with Owen Williams. Owen's first pitch outside, ball one. East Carter County, the opponent of the Lady Indians at Indian Park on Saturday morning at 11 o'clock, swing and a miss. There's strike one. Then St. Genevieve, the second opponent. They'll mix a game in between, game one and two for the Lady Indians. A high pitch, and Driscoll holds up and takes it for a ball. Two and one the count. Cooter at Zenith Hornersville tomorrow. I'll have that broadcast over on KCRV tomorrow afternoon. Ball three is outside. Three and one to Driscoll. One run on three hits in the ball game for Kennett. Eight runs, seven hits for Green County Tech. Ground ball down the first baseline. Brandon will knock it down and step on the bag for the out. That'll be out two in the inning. Peyton Branham to the bag. The runners move up to second and third. Keaton Watson has walked a couple of times and struck out in the ball game. A couple of RBIs in scoring position for him if he can get a two-out base hit off of Owen Williams. Owen trying to get the Indians into the dugout and get the bats again. Good pitch in there for strike one. Four o'clock start tomorrow at Zenith Hornersville High School for a KCRV broadcast. Swing and a miss. Another good pitch from Owen Williams to Keaton Watson. That'll be on the KCRV YouTube page, our live video stream, and on 105.1 KCRV FM on the radio. The O2. Swing and a miss as Owen Williams gets out of this jam with only one run coming across. Could have been much worse, though, and the Indians needing some runs. We'll go to the fifth. The Indians trail 8-1 to one as they come to bat. The Indian baseball continues right after this. Looking for a reliable, lightning-fast internet service that doesn't break the bank? Kennett Board of Public Works is here with their fiber optic internet service, starting at just $29.95 a month, with speeds up to 1 gigabit per second. And the best part? Kennett Board of Public Works is your local provider, committed to serving the community with top-notch customer service and a network you can count on. Experience the power of fiber optics. Sign up now and revolutionize your internet experience with Kennett Board of Public Works Internet Service. Hello, this is Darren Todd, Republican candidate for Circuit Judge of the 35th Judicial Circuit, comprising Dunklin and Stoddard Counties. I am asking for your vote in the August 6th Republican primary for a six-year term. I am a 1991 graduate of Holcomb High School, a 1996 graduate of Southeast Missouri State University, and a 1999 graduate of Southern Illinois University School of Law. I will represent the people of the 35th Judicial Circuit with patience, open-mindedness, compassion, understanding, and firmness. Paid for by the committee to elect Darren Todd Judge, Kim Campbell Treasurer. It'll be Matt Gardner, Hayden Gilmore, and Caleb Duncan. Pruitt will bat if anyone can reach, and they'll face Benton Farmer. Benton came in and got the final two outs of the fourth inning. Only 11 pitches. So he came into the ball game. It's, he is ready to go, and so is Matt Gardner. Can it trails eight to one here in the ball game? Matt with a home run so far on his senior season. That came at Greenville in that marathon game that we played against the Bears. Thirteen inning. 
Marathon at Greenville. First pitch to Matt. Fouled right back at it. Strike one. Good cut by Gardner. The 0-1 pitch to Matt. Takes it low. Ball one. One and one the count. We're at Green County Tech High School this afternoon. One ball, one strike to count to Matt. Benton Farmer with the pitch. This ball hit in the air down the right field line. Shallow play, and the second baseman going over, and he's not able to make the play, and it's going to land in fair territory. Tough play over there, Watson. Along with the right fielder and Stewart, the first baseman, all going back. But that one landed in a perfect spot for Matt Gardner. And that's another Kennett hit. A little pop fly down the right field line. Now Hayden Gilmore comes to the plate. Hayden, a line drive single, his first plate appearance. Outside is ball one to Gilmore from Benton Farmer. Eight to one, Green County Tech leads this afternoon. Kind of trying to pull a little closer here at the top of the fifth inning. Lead off runner own with a base hit, Matt Gardner. Gilmore takes this one inside, ball two, two and oh, the count. Caleb Duncan in the on deck circle. And Driscoll, the shortstop, he's kind of the field commander for the Screen County Tech Golden Eagles. As he has a short visit with his pitcher, Benton Farmer. 2-0 and the count to Gilmore. Hayden hits it toward the second baseman. He'll field and throw it to first for the only play that he had. Watson to Stewart, and Gilmore retired on the fielder's choice. Gardner moves down to second base, and here's Caleb Duncan. See if Caleb can drive that run in from second base and one down. Approaching 6 o'clock here at Bruce Hunt Field, Green County Tech High School. Kennett Indian Baseball on KBOA FM. Pickett Kennett. Duncan hits it high and deep to left field. Everybody's running back, and it's off the fence and over the fence. I believe that one's going to bounce over as it bounced right in front of the fence. And Caleb will drive in that run, and he'll stop down at second. Duncan gave it a ride. Round rule double for Caleb. Gardner scores on the play, and now Caden Pruitt at the plate. See if Caden can drive in another run. Can it pulls a little closer, 8-2. to two. They've had some opportunities here in the ballgame, but Needing to put several runs across here in this fifth inning. And Pruitt hits it on a one hop off the shortstop. And Pruitt's going to score safely. Well, that one's short hop. Driscoll, as he was kind of caught between catching it in the air and catching it on a short hop. And safe at first, the base runner, Caden Pruitt. Duncan could not advance on the play, so Caleb will still be down at second. Here's Peyton Branham. Peyton one hop the fence out in right field, his last at bat. Takes a strike on the inside corner for strike one. One out in the inning, couple of runners on, one run in for the Indians. Now the pitcher, Farmer, will want a different baseball, and he'll get one from his catcher, Jackson. T.R. Baker Insurance in Kennett, another one of our great broadcast sponsors, an independent insurance agency offering a variety of insurance coverages. Curveball over the head of Branham. That's ball one, one and one the count. 
both commercial and personal accounts at T.R. Baker Insurance, life, health, workers' compensation, auto coverage, and more. T.R. Baker Insurance and business and servicing the area since 1966. Ground ball back up the middle. The pitcher will knock it down. The throw will be at first for the out. Runners will move up, but that's out number two in the inning. As Farmer throws out Peyton Branham at first base. Pruitt to second, Duncan to third, and here's Jack Morrison. Big spot here for Jack with two outs, trying to drive in a couple of runs. Grounded out to short, and he struck out this afternoon. First pitch to Morrison. Pops it up and out of play. Strike one. Ashton Williams in the on deck circle for Kennett. It's eight to two, Green County Tech. We're in the top of the fifth inning with two down. The 0 1 pitch almost hit the batter. Morrison is. He just kind of flinched his shoulder there and took it for ball one, one and one. Benton Palmer, the right-hander, looks in and gets a sign from his catcher, Jackson. The one-one pitch with two on and two out. Popped up on the infield, third baseman. Now Farmer will call for it, and the pitcher will make the play for the out. Kenneth strands a couple more runners. They get a run, but trail eight to two as Green County Tech bats, bottom of the fifth, right after this. Now is the time to get your air conditioner serviced for the warm days ahead. Let the experienced techs at Duncan Sheet Metal replace that old unit with a new high-efficiency unit to stay more comfortable during the upcoming warmer months. A new high-efficiency unit will pay for itself with the big savings you see on your utility bill. Turn to the experts at Duncan Sheet Metal today for service and installation. 601 Highway VV in Kennett. Duncan Sheet Metal wishes Caleb Duncan and the entire Kennett Indian baseball team the best of luck this season. I'm Nick Darter, a candidate for Dunklin County Sheriff. I am a husband, father, and God-fearing man. I have been in law enforcement for 14 years as a field training officer, firearms instructor, taser instructor, school resource officer, mentor, and a volunteer firefighter. It is my desire to bring the experience I've acquired as well as the values that have been instilled in me to the Sheriff's Office. I would appreciate your vote August 6th for Dunklin County Sheriff. So together, we can see Dunklin County be an even safer future. Paid for by the committee to elect Nick Darter for Sheriff, Philip A. Sandy, Treasurer. Agriculture is not a fad, and it's not for the faint of heart. Long days become long nights, sacrificing time away from family, even on weekends, just so you can get the crop in and get the crop out. This is your way of life. At Farm Credit Southeast Missouri, we are 100% bought in to your commitment. Because we are customer-owned, it is our mission to be your ag lender, and we intend to be your value-added partner for next year and the long term. Your ag will always be there. Owen Williams will start his second inning of work as we go to the bottom of the fifth. Eight to two, Green County Tech leads the Kennett Indians. And Cannon Ring will start things off. Cannon 0 for 2 on the day. Takes ball one from Owen outside and low. Eight to two, Tech with the lead. Curveball is popped up down the right field line. A long run, but. Not able to get over there was Jack Morrison as he ran out of room. And it's one and one. Kennett would love to keep Green County Tech right where they are and have a couple more at bats in this ball game. The one one pitch, a curveball, is high and inside and ring. Ball three bounces at the plate from Owen Williams, and it's three and one now to ring. Beasley, who started the game on the pitching mound in the on deck circle, and this ball just fouled at third. Three balls, two strikes to count to ring. Owen Williams. Outside ball four. Lead off walk. Green County Tech will send their cleanup hitter. 
Tucker Beasley to the plate. Four runs in the inning, by the way, would win it for Greene County Tech with a 10-run rule. So Kennett certainly doesn't want to give up a big inning here. They want to have a, at least a couple of more at-bats in the ballgame. Beasley is one for two on the afternoon. First pitch outside corner called strike one. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Oh, and two to Tucker Beasley. We knew we might be challenged with the internet here this afternoon, and I think we may be having some streaming difficulties, so hang with us here as we do what we can to get that worked out. Ball low and away. One and two the count to Beasley. Runner at first, nobody out in the bottom of the fifth inning. Thank goodness Tad Jones is here working on the available Wi-Fi that we have. Low delivery blocked at the plate. Throwing down to first to Branham is Caleb Duncan and ringing back in there safely. And it's ball two on the hitter, Tucker Beasley. Two balls and two strikes. <laughs> 